This is a painting I did of the 1843 eruption of Mount St. Helens. No, I wasn't there in 1843. This painting was inspired by a work by Paul Kane, who happened to be in the area of Mount St. Helens when it was erupting in the late 1840s and early 1850s. I always thought his painting interesting for two reasons. Number one, it was of Mount St. Helens, and number two, it depicts an eruption in the exact same spot that broke free on the mountain and slid downward, causing the cataclysmic and deadly eruption of May 18, 1980. Paul Kane was a frontier Canadian artist who loved adventure and the outdoors. In some ways, Paul Kane and I were alike. We both like to travel, love the outdoors and adventures, and we like to paint. Paul was a self-taught artist. He traveled to Europe with very little money and lived on his wits. He returned to Canada and then traveled west to paint the native peoples in Western Canada and the Western United States. I liked Paul's painting, but I always felt it did not depict the landscape surrounding Mount St. Helens properly. I felt, too, the lighting was not quite right either. So I gave it a shot, and this is what I came up with. I did research the native peoples and their mode of dress so I could include it in my painting. I climbed Mount St. Helens just before it erupted in May of 1980. I photographed the crater, the summit, and views from my climb. I'm in a book titled in the Path of Destruction by geologist Richard Waite. If you are interested, I have video, a video detailing my climb at the end of my list of videos. And, well, that about does it for this tale. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching.